Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So let's go ahead and start with some channeled messages here, Pisces. So Pisces, I'm hearing no apology forthcoming, okay? So I feel here, Pisces, maybe you hurt somebody, maybe somebody hurt you. Um, somebody does not have remorse over this. Somebody has no guilt no like they just don't care okay someone here just doesn't care um i feel that we have a situation where one person is offering a very beautiful future to somebody somebody is saying you know listen you know i'll, I'll take care of you financially or you know i i'll take care of you i love you i want forever with you you know what i'm saying um but they're being treated very unfairly. They're being treated very unfairly because somebody here has no true passion or want to live with somebody or to move in with somebody or to get married to somebody. Someone doesn't have that true love and desire in their heart. They don't really want it. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so when they do things to hurt in the connection, they don't feel bad because they genuinely just don't care about the connection. And guys, I know that sounds cruel and I know that sounds mean, but you know if if you you know if, if you're if you just don't if you're just not in love with somebody it makes sense the part that is cruel and mean is that it would appear to me that someone here must be stringing the other person along making them think that there's a chance for that beautiful ten of pentacles long-term stability do you see what i'm saying that's the messed up part um we are all entitled to you know not have feelings for somebody or to have feelings for somebody um this this person is not an evil person because they don't they're not in love with the other person uh what does make them you know not the greatest person ever is that they're not saying listen you know i just don't feel the same way do you understand so what they're doing is they're hurting somebody that is willing to truly offer you know what i'm saying real stability real love real commitment you know financial stability a future with somebody um they're hurting somebody that's offering that when they have no true desire for this connection tell me about pisces please sun moon rising and Venus signs okay Five of Wands in the reverse. You'll notice, Pisces, that this person doesn't fight for you, doesn't fight for this connection. They are not jealous whatsoever, okay? They are not jealous whatsoever. Three of Swords in this in reverse. You'll come to realize that this person never gets hurt by anything that you do, okay? Uh, five of Pentacles. You're constantly living in fear here that this person is going to leave or that the connection is going to end. And we have the Strength card here. Uh, with the seven of swords in the reverse you feel like this person is very restrained around you pisces like they don't you know um what's the word i'm looking for like this per you can tell that they don't you can tell that they don't want you that's i mean that's you know what i'm saying you can tell that like you know there's not that type of passion about them where like they look at you and they have to like control themselves to not touch you or to not be around you um this person genuinely like they don't fight they don't care you'll find that they never get upset over anything that you do you know i mean i know relationships where there's a lot of arguing you know isn't healthy but uh, there has to be some if, if if someone never argues with you or never has a problem with you they genuinely just you know don't care you know they don't care um and like i said with the five of pentacles here and the strength card uh i feel like i feel like you maybe feel like this person is like one foot out the door seven of swords this person's lying you know what i'm saying they're lying cheating three of cups there may be a third party and with the sun card you're realizing this i feel like you're awakening to the fact that you know maybe there is someone else in the picture possibly okay let's see what we have here 
clarity guidance and love messages for Pisces or this person may look at third party energies a lot I just I heard that too with the sun card this person may have a wandering eye um, where they're constantly their attention is constantly drawn in other places tell me about Pisces please sun moon rising Venus tell me about the five of wands in the reverse we've got the hierophant Taurus energy uh, tell me about the three of swords in the reverse and the ten of pentacles in the reverse um, Pisces, I feel like this person maybe is just in this connection for financial stability. Um, I feel like they, you know what I'm saying, they don't really care. You you know what I'm saying, that the only way you might be able to hurt this person is financially, like if you take their finances away. But I don't, they're not going to be heartbroken if you leave. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to be heartbroken if they, you know, you're, you're, you're offering that, that Ten of Pentacles is what I was feeling that you're offering, a beautiful future abundance happiness joy they wouldn't really care if they didn't get it they, they don't see that future with you they don't you know what i'm saying um, but with the hierophant there they do like the stability they do like knowing that you know my future is going to be okay because pisces is there so that's why they're not letting this go that's why we have that string along effect happening um but with the lover's card here you know i feel like there is a beautiful love connection here, but that snake is sitting over it, staring at it. So there is something here um, that isn't quite right. A lie, like standing in between you guys. There's always like this big pink elephant in the room that I feel, you feel Pisces. You know that it's there. You know something isn't right. Tell me about the five of pentacles. We've got the page of swords in the reverse. When this person tells you that they're never going to leave you or whatever the case may be, it's they're not being honest. They're not being honest. Tell me about the strength card here for Pisces. The strength card for Pisces. Ten of wands in the reverse. Um, I feel like this person actually wants to let go of the connection. I feel like they're actually holding back from letting go of the connection. Um yeah i feel like there might be someone here that's on this person's mind because we've got the king of pentacles we've got the lover's card we've got the knight of swords the empress here and the eight of swords with the two of cups so pisces you might be dealing with somebody here that you know if they've got a child with somebody or if they were married to somebody they have someone here that they already see as an emperor or an empress in their mind do you understand? So I feel like this is someone that, you know, is just infatuated with this person. And if they had the opportunity to do so, this person would run to that person to have a relationship with them. There's a love there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, I, I feel like this person kind of sits with you. Uh, they like the stability. They like the money. They like being taken care of. Um, but I feel that, you know, you are aware that this person, you know, would drop this connection at any time. And I feel like it's like that because there is a third party in the picture that this person wants more. And if that window of opportunity opened up, they would go run and be there. Okay. Um, and with that Empress card, it could be possible that this is a baby mama or a baby daddy. It could be possible that this is a wife or a husband. So Pisces, if you're with someone who is stating that they're in separation from their husband or wife, that they're going to get a divorce, this is someone that 100% wants their marriage to work. Um, or, you know, it could just be that, you know, this is somebody that has a third party that they have on a pedestal. You know, this could just be somebody on the outside that they've never slept with before or even been with before, but they have their eye on that third party person and if that third party person just said yep yeah no i'll date you this person would be out in a, in a heartbeat okay clarity guidance love messages here for my beautiful pisces clarity guidance love messages for my beautiful pisces now pisces you might be doing this to somebody you know you might just be staying in a connection because it's comfortable you know so we've got the moon here, Cancer Piscean Energy. We have the Nine of Wands. We've got the Judgment card, and we've got the Six of Wands. So what we have here is someone with secrets, Pisces. Someone here is very defensive. Like if you say anything to them, they become very defensive um, because they have secrets. They're not telling the truth, okay? With the Judgment card and the Six of Wands, I feel like this person is just making decisions that are best for them. We've got the Emperor here. Yeah, the Lovers and the Five of Cups with the Six of Cups. Um, 
This may be somebody, Pisces, that is still sprung on an ex. They have a lot of guilt and regret over an ex. But either way, you know, whether it's an ex or whether it's somebody that they feel a very strong soul tie connection that they have not been. It could be someone totally new that they have not been with before, but they're infatuated with that person because they feel a strong, a strong soul tie connection with them. Or it could be someone from the past. With the emperor here, this person is not going to give in and tell you that. You can argue until your teeth fall out your head okay this person is going to stand their ground and 100 percent stare at you in the face and tell you that they don't have feelings for anyone else that they don't want anyone else that you know what i'm saying they're they're never going to open up with the judgment card and the six of wands this person is not stupid they're going to make decisions that are victorious and they know right now that if there's no chance with the ex or if there's no ch whoever this empress energy is if there's no chance with that person they are sitting very pretty where they are and they're not going to mess that up unless there's a chance with that empress energy do you see what i'm saying so you can argue and argue and argue you know what i'm saying even if your intuition is telling you that something's not right you can argue and argue and argue but this person is not about to mess up a perfectly good situation when there's no chance with that third party issue you know what i'm saying tell me about the moon card here for pisces please we've got the nine of cups tell me about the nine of wands for pisces and we've got the ace of pentacles um, so Pisces, again, I feel like this person has a secret and their secret is, is that their wish fulfillment is to start a new beginning elsewhere. Okay. Um, to start a new beginning elsewhere. Uh, but again, they're never in a million years going to admit that to you ever. Okay. They're never going to tell you, you know, yeah, oh, I want that person or yeah, I want that ex back. It will never, they'll die before they tell you the truth. Tell me about the judgment card here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. This person has made a decision to put the work in and do what is right. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Yeah, I, I feel like Pisces, until this person receives a message of, hey, let's work this out from the X or let's just say this is someone in the workplace or someone that they go to college with or school with, until this third party person gives a message of let's go ahead and work on this and let's go ahead and do this until this person receives a message of I'm going to get what I want. Do you see what I'm saying? They're going to continue to lie. You see with the, the star card here, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Aquarian, Energy, um, the Strength card and the Seven of Swords. Until this person gets the opportunity that they actually want, they're going to continue to just lie to you. And, you know, with that Strength card, again, they're, they're being refrained from what they truly want um, so they'll just keep up the lie they'll keep up the farce because they're comfortable where they are someone here is comfortable where they are so while they're waiting to actually get what they want do you understand what I'm saying it's a great you know being with you is a great place to be so and I feel Pisces that you know that you can sense it because you see that this person has no jealousy no issues no problems no it's just not normal I know I mean that's quite opposite you know normally people come to me as a reader like we fight too much I just want it to end it's the opposite in this connection you're dealing with someone that literally has no jealousy will not fight for the connection if you get upset slam the door and leave this person does not chase a nobody <laughs> you know what i'm saying this person doesn't give a shit they do not care they don't care you could you know sleep with a football team and this person wouldn't even blink an eye this person doesn't care you know they just they don't care they're in this just because they're comfortable where they are until they get to where they're trying to go and if they never get to where they're trying to go then you'll be with this person forever you know but they they're just you know waiting for something else to happen tell me about the challenge here for pisces the challenge for pisces Ooh. Oh, you got a lot of cards here. Okay. The Justice card and the Reverse Libra Energy. Pisces, this is so unfair to you. It is so unfair to you. We have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups in the Reverse, the um, 
three of cups in the reverse and the seven of, of swords in the reverse. And again, the 10 of pentacles under the deck. Pisces, the challenge here is that this is so unfair to you because you are doing everything that you can to fulfill this person's wishes. You're bending over backwards to make this person happy. But with the 10 of cups in the reverse, there is no love here. This person just has no love whatsoever. Three of cups in the reverse and the seven of swords in the reverse. The seven of swords in the reverse talks about about sneaking away okay just sneakily getting away from a situation three of cups in the reverse is an indication that this person is not where they want to be with that third party they haven't reconciled with someone from the past or they're not being accepted in going out on a date or or getting with this third party energy but i feel like that's the only thing that's stopping them from sneaking away if this three of cups if this three of cups should be in the upright this person Person would be out in a heartbeat do you see what i'm saying they would be out in a heartbeat and it's not fair to you it's not fair to you pisces because you know with the nine of cups and the ten of pentacles you're offering this person like a dream come true you're offering this person what most people would die to have do you see what i'm saying financial stability emotional you know contentment you're truly giving this your absolute all and again pisces this could be vice versa you know but i feel like someone here is like really you know giving it's just very unfair it's very unfair tell me about the outcome here for pisces the outcome here for pisces the outcome for pisces please okay all right, so we've got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Four of Cups, and we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Six of Swords. Um, Pisces, make no mistake that as this person is with you, they are continuing to either return to an ex, and I'm going to say specifically return to an ex because with the Eight of Cups, you know, this is returning to someone that you once had love for. Now, if it's not that they're trying to get back with an ex, it's somebody that they are in love with. Like, it's a third party that they want to date, that they want to be with. But with the Queen of Swords, this person has no interest, okay? This person has no interest. Um, so I haven't seen the Six of Cups, so I'm not going to say it's an ex. But the Eight of Cups can talk about returning to something. And so can, you know, the Six of Swords. So this is either someone from their past that they want to get back with or it's just someone else that they have in their life that they really want to be with, but this person doesn't want to be with them, okay? But this person is going to continue trying. With the Page of Cups and the Four of Cups, they're going to continue, hey, will you go out with me? No, I don't want to go out with you. Okay, see that Four of Cups, they keep getting rejected. Hey, you know, I'm so sorry. I still want to be with you. I don't care. Stop calling me. We've, I'm, I'm not taking you back. We're done. Do you see what I'm saying? So this person, the outcome here is that this person is going to continue to keep trying Pisces. And, you know, with that six of swords energy um they are looking yeah see six of swords the death card and the six of cups with the five of cups this person still has a lot of sorrow in their heart over an ex i do I, as much as i want to say <clears throat> it could be a different third party and it is possible that it is do you understand i really feel strongly this is someone that they already know it could be a childhood friend it could be you know what i'm saying it, it could be a childhood friend that they've been in love with for a long time and this person doesn't want to be with them um um, or it could be an ex. But I feel like this person is just waiting to end things with you and go back to this person. Okay. Um, so, you know, you can offer as much as you want, but this person is still knocking on the ex's door. And if that ex opens the door and says, okay, come in, let's talk this relationship's over regardless of how much you kill yourself no matter what you buy them no matter what you know how you twist yourself you could just kill yourself giving this person all the love and what most people would be like oh my god you are the luckiest man or woman in the world that you have Pisces. you can do whatever you're you're going to do you can look hot go to the gym stand on your head do tricks do whatever it doesn't matter to this person they do not care if this past person or whoever this third party is opens that door just a crack, this relationship's over. They will go back. Okay? All right, guys. I love you so much and take care. Bye, my loves.